Welcome everyone back to Trails of Cold Steel, episode 97. We are still on the evening of the first festival day. Then Reen heard voices in his head saying that it's time. It's time. It's Vader time! Time! What's up with Celine here? Alright, we have one last meeting about the performances. I wonder what the surprise is. They'll never see it coming. Emma knows something's going on, right? It's gonna be big. Hmm. Maybe they have they're interested in losing the state of Crossbell? How come your parents are not going, or your sister? Whoa! Sarah... Working behind the scenes to make sure all the family members are there tomorrow. I think class one is more on the production aspect, but performance wise, we're gonna rock it out. What? What is it? <laughs> that was pretty mean. Uh oh. So old schoolhouse. It it was acting funky last time we saw it. It's calling us. Oh wait. Yeah, there was a bell in Lahan Green Castle as well. Time was weird in that castle as well, right? Some of the dead folks were showing up. Looks like we're not gonna rest for tonight.
doesn't look like this is something we can just ignore for next time. You have to do it now. Not sure why though, but maybe the bell is annoying. Wait, that's not the old schoolhouse. That's the main building. Yep, it's not the main building. It's there. That glow is the same as Lohengrin Castle. Everyone is aware of it. Looks like they're not aware of our monthly escapades into the old schoolhouse. How did we enter Long Green last time? Did we just go through the door? Hmm. What? what is this? Seems like there's some kind of force field. No idea what's powering it though. Oh my! There's something very strange about this. Very strange indeed. Thank you, Captain Obvious. This academy may have been founded by Emperor Dreykels, but this particular building dates back long before even his time, I believe. Principal Van Dyke, what are you all doing here? You only realize that now? Green? Ah, and Sarah's with you too! So, you've come. What's going on here? I'm sure you heard the tolling of the bell earlier. Apparently, as soon as that started, this barrier appeared. We've had several students testify that was the case, at any rate. Looks like it's covering the entire building. I tried the direct approach and hit it with a hammer, but it just absorbed the impact. Wow. So it's some sort of field that negates any physical force applied to it? We've known from the beginning that this building was one big mystery, but it seems we didn't realize just how big. <sighs> Probably not gonna work, Milliam. Don't bother. It'd just be a repeat of what happened in Lohengrin Castle. Yeah, nothing we tried could even scratch that barrier. And this one seems a lot like it. Hmm. Gather the staff for an emergency meeting. I'm afraid we'll have to prepare for the worst. What's the worst? Yes, sir. I suppose we have no other recourse at this point. Toa, going forward, let's assume that the second day of the festival no! and all related events will need to be cancelled. George, I'd like you to gather your equipment and keep a close watch on this area. Yes, sir. Understood. Hopefully it's not going to be cancelled. Are you really going to cancel the festival? Under these circumstances, there's not much else we can do. If the building is still like this tomorrow morning, there's no way we can let visitors onto the campus. That's why we have to solve it right now. We have no idea what's happening in there either. The risk of danger is too great. It's possible we might need to evacuate the academy. Or even all of Trista. No way. Damn it. Is that our only option? I guess from a risk management point of view, that's the only sensible course of action, but... <sighs> We're going in. After all that hard work. Over the past month, we've poured everything we have into getting ready for this festival. Maybe we wanted to prove we could put on just as good a show as the other classes. Maybe we wanted to impress our families. 
Maybe it's just that being with friends and working to make something great is its own reward. Reen, yeah. That's all just secondary right now. What's really important is our chance to leave a legacy here. To do something new classes might look at and aspire to. Wow. Winning or losing, that doesn't really matter in the end. As long as you tried your best. And it doesn't ultimately matter whether our show is a smash hit or totally tanks. Because what we worked for isn't fame or bragging rights. We worked to put on the best damn festival we could. Well said, Reen. So all I'm asking for is a chance to see that through. That's not too much to ask, is well, it? We better solve this problem then. Oh. He's right, you know. I'm with Reen on this too. <laughs> Perhaps the best we can put forth will amount to nothing in the end. This reminds me of Persona 4. Spoilers, of course. You know where every, the hero is gonna go home, and then there's a last minute dungeon, one more dungeon. Just like this. Evan is ready for the festival, then something comes up to drag you into the old schoolhouse one last time. But even if it does, as long as we have a chance to do something about it, we won't just take this lying down. Yeah, we spent way too long practicing to just throw it all away. Besides, it'd be super lame if we missed a chance to strut our stuff! Since the beginning of the year, it's been our class's responsibility to investigate the old schoolhouse. That's right. And it just so happens that we haven't made our monthly visit yet. True. <sighs> Why is Emma so worried? She knows what's happening, right? You guys right? are actually serious. <sighs> sure looks that way. Man, hearing you guys so fired up brings a little tear to my eye. Well, I certainly admire your spirit, but spirit alone won't be enough to get you past this barrier. Oh, Reed, what's that light? Huh? What is, what is it? This? It's coming from your Argus pouch. Yeah, but why? Hmm, it looks like the quartz is shining. Okay, that's our what? entry, our passport. What's happening? It's inside the barrier. Everyone's Arcus now is glowing. All of our Arcus units are glowing. What's going on? I doubt it's mere coincidence that this light is the same hue as the barrier. You know, this actually reminds me of our very first day in the old schoolhouse. Indeed. We were all connected together through our Arcus combat links. That's a long time ago, folks. I don't even remember that we fought that creature. It does seem similar. <laughs> Mine's doing it too. Ooh, this is so neato! The time has come. Oh, now everybody's hearing this. Now reveal. Green. Green. Only Green could hear it. Uh, are you okay? It almost looks like he's causing a sympathetic resonance with the field. Yeah, that's the feeling I'm getting. It's an invitation. Like I and the rest of Class 7 are being called in. Looks like this will be the game's final dungeon. I don't know what to say. Just like Tartarus. Well, that was the only dungeon in Persona 3's case. I'm sorry, sir. I guess they ended up taking after their teacher a little too much. <laughs> Then you've been a fine instructor. I stand impressed with your students. Besides, making the choices that define you is part of growing up. Alrighty. We're off then. To the old school it's house. It's currently 1940 hours. I'll permit you until 0 hundred hours 
to conduct your investigation. Any later, and you won't get enough sleep to put on a rousing concert after all. Sir. Then we can... You deserve the chance to earn that legacy you were talking about. To leave a life for those who'll come after. Go on. I'm not gonna chide you for being rash. Not this time, anyway. And may the goddess guide your steps. Sure, Thomas. You just have... You need to say something. Don't forget, too, that discretion is the better part of valor. Retreating isn't always a cowardly option. Instructor Sarah. Instructor Thomas. Right. Understood. Be careful in there, everyone. We'll do whatever we can out here to back you up. I'll leave the engineering building open for the night, so come on over if you need to use the facilities there. Sure, like upgrading I'll go ask the, the shops in the cafeteria to keep the lights on for you, too. Thank you. All of you. We're counting on you. All right, let's go. Is the cat gonna go with us? It's The cat's not going. Nobody noticed that the cat is going inside, really? No one? No one? Not even the principal, the instructors, George and Toa? Hmm, that's kind of weird. So the cat, I'm, I'm making a guess here. The cat will reveal its true self at the end of this dungeon. Before I leave and set up, oh wait, oh, I thought the cutscene was over. I wanted to get all the cutscenes out of the way, because, again, I'm not going to record the dungeon crawling aspect, as well as the equipment buying, weapons upgrading, things like that. You don't need to see that, guys. It's just a bunch of menus. The hidden seventh floor. Emma knows what's down there. Is this her chapter? Finally? Because I've been waiting for a long time now to know about Emma's true self. Just like so. That's the reason why I did not pick Emma in the festival events. Because we don't know her that well. This is the door where we fought that big robot. Where Reen first awakened. <sighs> what is this? Glowing cogs? We've seen some strange stuff in this schoolhouse since we started coming here, but I think this takes the cake. Hmm. Confirming release of the sixth lock. Potential awakener detected. What is that, Awakener? The time has come. Commencing the second trial. Are we having a boss fight right now? This looks the same as the red door we found on the fourth floor, but... It seems like there's an even bigger surprise behind this one. The 
very curious about this sixth lock and second trial business. Do you think the locks refer to each of the floors we've cleared so far? That's pretty obvious, Matthias. What's a potential awakener? Is it talking about one of us? It's obviously Reen. Or Emma. I can scarcely venture a guess. But what seems certain is that we're here tonight because we were meant to be here. Yeah. <clears throat> Reen? Huh? Are you okay? It's the mark on your chest, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But how do you... Call it intuition. Call it being a witch. I think it should already be quite apparent, but we're headed somewhere no living eyes have all right. seen. Are you sure you're all prepared? Not yet, actually. Emma? Wanna... Well, well. You certainly seem to be in the know about all of this. Is it time for revelations? And how long has Celine been here? All this time? Meow. I'm glad that we're having this conversation before we enter the place. The dungeon, I mean. Lay it all out. Back honest. at the start of the year, I know we all had our doubts. We've made it this far because we've accepted each other for who we are. And I think being part of Class 7 is a big oh, part of that. I thought Emma's gonna have her reveals. Guess not yet. Even if the world were to stand against us, we'd have each other. Rain. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. On my first day with Class 7, I was sitting in a room full of strangers. Now I know I'm standing among friends. That's Laura, heading right to the heart of it. <laughs> yeah, I don't ever recall accepting him. Uh, the flirting, the flirting is still going on between these two. I could say the same about you. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Honestly, if they ever stop bickering, they probably miss it. It's just one of those things that makes us what we are. Aww, you guys have a good thing going. Wish I was a part of it. But you are a part of it. You're one of us now. You're a class seven, class seven student, Milia. You said it, short stack. Don't know that there's much of a place for a slackadaisical second year either. What kind of talk is that? You two belong here just as much as the rest of us. And I think you'll have to agree, Emma. Class 7 is the best there is. Whoa. Wait, what's... Is Reen hinting at something? <laughs> well said. Has Emma been a presence in Thor's for generations now? I may not always show much in the way of class spirit, but I'm confident Class 7 is the finest Erebonia has to offer. Then what are we waiting for? No one might ever know what we do here tonight. We're not doing this to prove to others how great we are. We're doing it to prove it to ourselves. To face down our fear, conquer it, and earn the answers we deserve. Green. All right, I won't try to dissuade you. Let's go earn our chance to leave our mark on this academy. Yeah! So is everyone gonna be in our party? We can swap to all nine members? That will be something. Especially if we max out all their CPs. Just one S break after the other. Wait, we're 11, not 9. Yeah, it's actually 11. 12 counting Celine. There's your final dungeon, folks. It looks like it's gonna be a long one. It looks like an East Dungeon, to tell you the truth. So a couple of months ago, I finished uh, Salsetta. And one of the final dungeons had this floating kind of thing. Whatever. Yeah, reminds me of that. A little bit. 
Wow. I expected to see something that defied explanation. This is beyond imagination. Still, this trial is ours to overcome. And overcome it we shall. Yeah, you're right. So, how about it, Reen? Any words of wisdom from our fearless leader? Huh? What do you want me to say? Wow, so Reen is no longer questioning his position as leader. I thought he's gonna say, Huh? Me? Leader? Really? Me? Are you sure? Whatever you want, I guess. Gotta have a little pep talk before we begin the mission. Yep. Just think of it as another of our old schoolhouse adventures. Let's do this, boss man. <laughs> Just don't say anything you might regret later. <sighs> you guys aren't making this any easier. All right, Class 7. Our mission is to explore the seventh floor of the old schoolhouse and find a way to return the building to normal. Are you ready to give this everything you've got? For the concert! concert! Oh, there's no cheer for the performance? Alright, that's cool. Oh, and Emma cannot be removed. This is her, her spotlight, I guess. Okay, let's see. Let's bring in Fee. Alyssa's secret skills are awesome. I guess Elliot for healing. Yeah. That's our party. I wonder when we can swap. Save points. At the entrance. She's actually a pretty good party member as well. But I'm happy with this group for now. This is probably a, an elevator thing. We can do swaps later, I guess. Alright folks, I'm gonna... I'm gonna head out, maybe check up their better weapons, armors, check our supplies, the usual stuff. And I'll see you guys on the other side of the realm of whatever shadows. Just before the boss fight. I'll see you guys next time in episode 98 of Trails of Cold Steel.